We are now less than a week away from the legislative session, and a bill being proposed is focusing on banning large capacity gun magazines. Action 7's John Cardinelli joins us. And John, you spoke to an owner of a gun store who says if passed, this law would affect many firearm owners. The owner here at Los Ranchos Gun Shop took us around his store and showed us a variety of products he sells. He tells us that many gun manufacturers will no longer be able to sell their firearms in New Mexico if the law passes. There is not one gun in this cabinet that would be allowed under the proposed law. Similarly here, as I'm looking, there would again not be one gun that would be permitted under the new law. For more than 40 years, Mark Abramson has been selling firearms to New Mexico's gun owners. They don't give me keys. But a new proposed bill could affect the types of guns he sold for years. The Smith & Wesson M&P is one of our top selling guns. It just wouldn't be allowed because Smith & Wesson will not make a magazine that only handles nine rounds because we'd be the only state in the union that had that restriction. In the upcoming 60-day session, Democrat State Representative Patricia Roybal Caballero will introduce House Bill 50, which aims to ban large-capacity magazines in New Mexico. A large-capacity magazine holds 10 or more rounds. Uh, this is a 10-round magazine. You can see they're almost the same size if we compare them, yet one is pre uh, prohibited and the other one would be permitted under this new law. Abramson says if passed, the law could be problematic. The fact is that a smaller capacity magazine means that in the middle of, God forbid, a gunfight, you're going to be changing out magazines. And law-abiding gun owners could be outmatched should they need to protect themselves against a criminal. You are going to be creating a black market. Criminals already have those guns. They'll be stealing those guns or having them transferred from Texas or Arizona, Colorado, uh, which has a 15-round magazine limit. Um, and they'll be bringing them in here anyway. So it really makes a gunfight uh, unequal. Republican Ryan Lane, who is the House Minority Leader for New Mexico, says he does not believe the proposed legislation will combat gun violence. Yeah, it's, it's hard for me to embrace that concept when you look at the most violent cities across the United States. They have the strictest gun laws. Um, so that's not really addressing the problem. The problem is, is the root issue of career criminals. That's what we really need to address. The 60-day legislative session will start next Tuesday, January 17th. Reporting in Albuquerque, I'm John Cardinelli, KOAT Action 7 News. We reached out to Representative Caballero multiple times for an interview today. We did not hear back from her.